Welcome to the Homebrew Podcast, where we discuss everything addiction, recovery, mental health. I am Flip. And I am Luke. Our generation of men, you're not allowed to have feelings. We're going to talk about things that are uncomfortable, things that are scary, because when you talk about it, you take away its power. The only thing that's going to keep me clean is me not wanting to be who I was then. Uh, we was in the trenches, now look how we out here ball. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Home Group Podcast. I am Flip, clean date, April Fools, 2016. Oh, he's eating with the... Pl- and he throws the fork, ladies and gentlemen. He is an animal. And I'm Luke, clean date, October 11th, 2017. It's time, homie. Oh. <gasps> Dang. I saw you looking around. Dog coming up. I saw, I saw you looking around. I saw you looking around for, for trying to find something, something. Yeah, last come, minute. That was I good. Come prepared that at was all. good improv. Dude. All things work out in the end. You feel me? That was good improv. Hey, time episode is, 40. Time is money. One. Episode yeah. 41. Episode 41. US 41. You know how many times I traveled on that road? 40. 40. Uno. Cuarenta uno. And I should know that because I have a significant other that is from Puerto Rico. Yep. From the island uh, the island state of Puerto Rico. Dang, so, dude. And that's just stuff that they do over there. They speak Spanish yeah. and other cool stuff. They do other stuff. They got good food. Pinatas. They got, they got good food, for cool sure. Stuff. For sure, for sure. Um, listen... We got an action-packed month ahead of us. We just uh, got to celebrate some homies' clean dates today. Ah, uh, let's go. We got Big Ant in the building. Big Ant's in the building. He's uh, off um, camera. He's on the ones and twos. I wonder, did, does he know how many times we talked about him on this podcast? Because we brought oh, him up quite a few times. It's been a real fucking roller coaster ride of emotions talking about Wow. I don't Ant. know if he even knows that. He does now, but. Yeah, he's been the topic of conversation at least six times. Dang. Yeah, multiple man. episodes yeah but you know what's so cool and i was i was talking to him about this before the meeting is he had asked he had asked me like uh, oh what like you didn't think i was going to because i was like 60 days a big deal he said what you didn't think i was gonna get here i said no i knew you were because the the perspectives changed right and it's it's so important because you remember what he was like trying to get him to go to detox yeah no that was a real uh nightmare yeah, that was like a game of sorry, dude. It was mm. like one, you know, or par cheesy or something. It was one <laughs> one move forward, three moves back, dude. And it uh but I never lost hope. No, we never lost hope. Never lost faith. My man was coming with all the excuses. Trusted bro. the pro, oh, yeah. Trusted. Like, hey, we should take you detox. He's like, Yeah, but you know, there's you know, five Fridays this month. And yeah. We're like, okay, but what does that have to do with getting it yeah. detox? And he's like, Yeah, but Thanksgiving. Yeah, I, but guys, like I just did the I ha, I just did uh, laundry yeah. and I have to fold my dishes. And so <laughs> I, I just started Game of Thrones. Yeah. So like, yeah. I mean, do we really have to do the detox thing? Yeah. Here's the thing, guys. Like I have I just bought two brand new goldfish and I have to walk them <laughs> like at least twice a day. He was or like they on, shit actually all over the house. On my way to this meeting, I saw a fender bender. So <laughs> yeah, you know. and that's that. Yeah. yeah, but he's here. Sixty days—that's a massive deal. I cannot. And listen, I—I I feel like sometimes when we say that, because you know, I, I talk to a, a lot of people. We talk to a lot of people, and they're like, "Oh, yo, I got thirty days. I got ninety days, whatever." And I'm like, "That's a big freaking deal." And it's not like not saying it condescending, even though it might sound that way. That is the hardest time to get. I always say that. The hardest 60 days Ugh. of your recovery will be the first 60 days. God bless it's it. It's just staying after that. That's it. You got to do something for your recovery every single day in order to stay. Mm. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Mm. Like Tupac said. You know what today is? Right? Huh? Dr. Seuss's birthday. No, it's not. Yeah, dude. Shout out Dr. Dr. Seuss. Seuss. Redfish, bluefish. I mean, dude, I feel like we've referenced Dr. Seuss so many times. I cannot wait for episode 293 when we finally get Dr. Seuss on. When we resurrect him and bring him on. He's dead. Dr. Seuss will never be dead. And that's what I'm saying. It was a wacky It was wacky Friday at Ella's school because they represent Dr. Seuss, which I love to see. Thing one or thing two? 
Uh, no, it was the teacher was thing one. Mm -hmm. The the lady that runs the daycare was thing two. Right. And Ella just went completely ballistic. Oh, bro. <laughs> she had the tie dye shirt. Yeah. She had like the red and black, like checkered yeah. dress. Yeah. Different color socks. She had like half her hairstyle one way, the other half the and she was just there for you it. You can call me Frankenstein from now on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. She was loving it, dude. Oh man. Yeah, man. So uh Nice. We missed last week. Dude, this fast twitch is coursing through my veins right now, bro. You asked I'm for it. Fucking, I feel like a, God bless it, fucking supercar right now, dude. I'm firing on 27 cylinders right now, bro, for real. I might have a heart attack. I might not make it through this episode. Your brow is, Episode you, 41 might be it. Your brow is looking a little sweaty, dude. <laughs> yeah, bro. <sighs> and you've only drank half of that. Whew. That's okay. I couldn't imagine pounding this thing, bro. Eh. Just wait. God bless. Just wait. Um, we missed last week. Yeah, we missed last week. Things were... Yeah, don't do that. There was some stuff going on. Yeah, no, life was... Uh, life just been showing up. That's what it is. And, you know, I was thinking about it and whatever. We can break anonymity because this is the home group. Um, so there was, like, yeah. a lot of, like, discussion tonight at the meeting about perspective. Right. And about um, the reading was based on anxiety. Anxiety, which... Right? Me and her go together. We've been going together for a minute, dog. Strong. <laughs> God bless. And I forget what the first line said verbatim, but it says something along the lines of, like, um, you get overwhelmed with, you know, everything in your life. And I'm looking at it. And I was actually talking to Ann before the meeting. He's like, how are you doing? I said, well, my morning started at 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Gym, get home, get the kids ready, take them to school, go to work. Leave work, pick up the kids, go to the grocery store, cook dinner, hopped on the live with Tiff for a little bit, got ready for the meeting. Here we are. Ew. Yeah, no. But dope. But It'll then I but then like when you look at it, when you step back and look at it, it's like, what do I really have to complain about? Right. My life is sweet. Right. Got it's it easy to get wrapped up. Dude, I have a very high impact, high stress job. Yeah, you do. Okay. It's a fucking nightmare. For real. And that's putting it lightly. I was just talking about, like, there's not a day that goes by that I don't want to punch somebody's eyebrows off their face. Mm -hmm. Just Mr. Potato Head the fuck out of somebody, dude. Most days. Like, there's not... Every day. Pretty well, much every day. Yeah, but you know, that's when I get worried when I talk to you. And I'm like, what's going on? You're like, oh, nothing. It's just just chilling. I'm like, all right, what's going on? Are you yeah. <laughs> like, where are you at? Yeah. Are you on MLK right now? Yeah. Because I'll come rescue you. Yeah, you're like, how many did you slap in? You yeah. ask me that every day. Yeah. And I'm like, I really don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about this bomb money that you've been saving for me because I'm going to need it in about three seconds. <laughs> Most days it's, why did you call me? <laughs> yeah. I got one customer responding K to me left, uh -huh. and I'm going to just go postal. Uh -huh. That's it. Not the K. You know, you're dealing with, in, in my line of work, you're dealing with customers, you're dealing with mm. an office, you're dealing with so many points of contact that things get jumbled, bro, and it's like, like, what what am I even doing? Mm. Like, what are we doing here? Yeah. You know what I mean? I get it. And, uh, but also, I'm glad that I can feel that shit, dude. Yeah. Because when I was getting high, I didn't give a fuck about any of that. Mm. At all. I didn't care nothing, about... Nothing mattered, dude. Nothing mattered. And, I mean... All the way, nothing mattered. Kids, house, car, wife, life. Didn't care if I lived or died. I just didn't want to feel sick. Mm. I didn't want to feel dope sick. That's sick, bro. That's the first thing I thought about when I was looking at X amount of years, multiple years in prison, was like, oh, my God, dude. In about six hours, I'm going to be feeling like shit. You know <laughs> what I mean? Uh. Like, not like, oh, man, I'm going to have to figure out, like, where my kids are going to be. Yeah. That's mm. shitty. Well, um, I'm going to try really hard not to get emotional. Yeah. Because I just talked about this last night on the other podcast, and I got emotional. So I'm going to try not to get emotional. But I just went to a Celebration of Life Sunday, mm. right, for my buddy who, um, trigger warning, you know, took his own life. Right. And you look at that reading today about the anxiety and the stress. Yeah, no, we wouldn't be able to record if that wasn't in. That, that's just a backup. Um. And you look at the stress and anxiety of life, and it was so high for him that he thought that that was the only, you know, possible option. And so I go to this celebration of life, and I go with Top Hat Dave, who 
coincidentally coincidentally had tattooed him for years and they had built a, a genuine friendship and I didn't even know that. I was talking to him about it when I went and got it. Yeah. And um we went there and we're just like standing off in the side and like listen, you've been in this program long enough. You've been to more celebrations of lives and funerals than I can remember. And ninety nine point nine percent of them it is somber as fuck. Yeah. It is just everybody is depressed yeah. Everybody is sad. There is not a smiling face to be seen. Not a celebration. No. This was an actual celebration. Really? I was I was fucked up. Right. I was crying. Right. I was crying. Right? It's that survivor's guilt. And, well, there's a lot that goes into it, right? Because you know how I am. Aunt knows how I am. I'm very rigid on this path of recovery, right? Listen, I can navigate to gray, but for me it's very black or white. It's either like you're doing this or you're not. Right. And there is no in between. And it's not only that, but it's like I try to surround myself with the people that are trying to accomplish the same things. Right. And he veered from that path and I distanced myself. Right. So then I start playing with the I play with the idea of like, what if. Right. And that's a, a shit spot to be in. Yeah, and I can't do what I can't if do so that. fucking take you yeah. right out. Dog. But the point being is like. I'm at the celebration of life, and, like, it, there's genuine, like, people are sharing stories, and people are laughing, and, like, you know, all this crazy stuff, and I'm emotional wreck, and I'm standing over here, and I'm just, like, I'm, I'm irritated that people are, like, smiling and laughing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And this little girl comes up to me, and she goes, you're hired you're part of the bubble the bubble operation. <laughs> and she hands me a bubble wand, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? And what can I say in that moment? Yeah, you got recruited to yeah. the bubble force. Yeah. Like, and she yeah. handed a wand to me, a wand to Dave, and she said, get to work. God bless. And so we were just out there blowing bubbles, and the kids were chasing bubbles. And it was, like, such a beautiful, like, thing, man. But, like, that's what I was thinking about at that meeting tonight was, like, we go in there and so many times. Listen, I'm guilty of it. Right? Like, I get caught up in in life shit, and I'm like, oh, woe is me. But, like, the reality is, like, how bad do we really got it? Right. You know, you live to fight another day, and so, like, that's what this whole thing's about. And, like, most days I fail, and that's okay. You know yeah. what I mean? But, like, golly, I can't imagine being in a spot where, like, the only reasonable option is to unalive yourself. Yeah. I can't imagine that, dude. Yeah. I can't imagine that. Like, I, I will say, like, that's one area that I've been extremely blessed in is that, like, I don't battle with that demon. Right. Well, I mean, even when I was getting high, like, I would, I didn't want to die. No, because then Just, I couldn't get I high couldn't anymore. I couldn't get high anymore, dog. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I couldn't, I couldn't, like, I didn't want, I felt like mm. I wanted to die. You know what I mean? I felt like maybe death would be better than the restless legs and this, the cold sweats and the looking over my shoulder for the police every 10 seconds. But really like, yeah, I didn't want to die. That's tough, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's shitty, dude. Yeah. But you know what? I mean, it's, it's life and all I can do is kind of, uh, do some reflection on my, my part. And that's why I got the semicolon tattoo. Yeah. I saw that. Um, you know, we were going to tattoo my back, and I was like, you know, I can't. I said, but I want to do this. And it's it's to remind me, too, that, like, everybody has their own demons. And, like, even though I'm rigid and, like, I, I walk a very tight line when it comes to recovery, when it comes to, like, my life, like, I have to understand that I, I kind of – sometimes I have to meet people where they're at. Right. I don't have to be, like, a dick all the time. Right. You know what I mean about it. Because, like – and I think I'm such a dick about it because, like, I was that dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. That's why I got that's why I got frustrated with Ant the way that I did when we were trying to get him into detox because I was that was me. Right. I'll give you every excuse. Yeah, but it's Dr. Seuss's birthday. Right, right, right. I can't go to can't go to detox on Dr. Seuss's birthday. It's like against that's, the law. This is a celebration. Yeah. Don't Yeah, like don't do this. Don't do this. Not today. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. Um and so, you know, it's just it's a lot of reflection. A lot of reflection. And then I get like cool shit like I'm at work, and uh, one of my coworkers said, hey, Flip, phone call. I was like, all right, transfer it. Shit pops up, DOC, on a caller ID. My heart stopped. 
So I drank one of those <laughs> yeah. to resuscitate <laughs> yeah, myself, yeah. right? Yeah, the, the liquid uh, yeah. EKG. Uh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Came back. <laughs> yeah. And then I start going through the Rolodex of crimes I've committed and mm-hmm. statute of limitations, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I've been convicted for this. They can't get me on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double jeopardy here. Double, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Entrapment there. Yep. I'm like, all right, cool. And I answered We're the phone. Good. And uh, it was a probation officer verifying an employee's employment. Right. And he listed me as his supervisor because, wow. I mean, technically I am. Right. And he's just like, uh, is he full-time? Is he part-time? I said, no, he's full-time. He's like, how's he doing? I said, he's great, man. He's like, what? what is it exactly you guys doing? I broke it down for him. He's like, all right, cool. I said, I'm looking at him right now. You want to talk to him? He said, no, no, I'm good. I said, all right, well, if you need to verify anything, call me. Yeah. And like, that was that. And it's like, it's so weird to be in a spot like that. Yeah. Because I was the dude that they had to call for. Yeah. You're talking. Yeah. I was on probation my entire twenties. Right. My entire twenties. If I wasn't incarcerated, I was on probation. Yeah. I never thought I was going to leave the state of Florida, dog. I still, I still I mean, get I still, nervous. Yeah. I still get nervous when I cross state lines. Yeah. Like, am I allowed to do this? My entire 20s. Papers. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But it's uh, the gifts of recovery. We get to do this. You know what I mean? What else? What, what's going on with you? Oh. I can't call it, man. I'm fucking. Oh, dude. Fuck. I'm sun up to sun down right now, dude. Me too. It's Me ugly. Too. Yeah, no. It's ugly out there. Yeah. The longer I stay clean for, the more stress I have, the more the more shit is on my plate, man. Mm. And I just uh I'm grateful. I'm always grateful. Yeah. Well, cuz you know, like we always say, my best day using is nowhere close to my worst day now today. Yeah. But uh God bless. Yeah. No, I get it, dude. Good lord. It's easy to get caught up in that shit. Um, before we forget, because for some reason we've been forgetting this, we gotta do thumbnails, homie. Yeah, and then she's got a uh, our editor has to find some. She has to find the nugget of thumbnail that we do somewhere in the middle and take the screenshot of it. Should we wait? At, should me. we wait till the end? I mean, what if we run out of battery and then we're rushing? I don't want to rush your thumbnail <sighs> story. Yeah, because you know thumbnail I mean? story is intense, dude. We got a good one. We got a good one today. You, <laughs> yeah. you got one in the chamber? Always, dude. Okay. All right. Always. Let's let's get into it. Hang on. Let me get a sip of this oh, fucking all right, you might jet you. fuel real quick, my boy. Eh. All right. Let's get the... Uh, oh. um, let's get the stupid smile one. Woo! Out. I'm in, baby. Let's get the smile one out the way. Wait. Move your mic real quick. Um, you and I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you've seen the movie Step Brothers. Love that movie, dude. You know how they go on the uh, duo job interview? <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. You and yep. I did that, right? Yeah, of At course the, we did. At uh, the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Factory. <laughs> oh, my God. We got hired. Okay? So yeah. it is day one. Craft mac and cheese. What do we hang on? What do, what do we get? Where are we at? Are we on like a conveyor belt? Like we're, testing? We're, 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 like we're on the assembly quality line. Quality check. Right? We're on the assembly line. Yeah. Well, okay. Let me put it this way. I'm on the assembly line checking noodles. Yeah. yeah they yeah. mistakenly put you in charge of the cheese. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bad idea. They're going to learn. Bad idea, Craft. They're going to learn. Okay. okay. Yeah. So on the way to work, we're... Driving in my 1996 Jeep Cherokee, yeah. okay, with a taped up side mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We currently driver's side. We currently reside in a studio apartment. Of course, I have a pet scorpion. Of course, of course named you do. Billy. Of course you do. And you fucking hate him because I have to feed him live crickets. Yeah, and the cricket goes all night. So loud, and I'm it's sleeping so loud. like a baby. It's so fucking loud, dude. <laughs> it's it's a it's a nightmare. Right, that's a nightmare. And so. On the way to work, I'm like, listen, dude. Because the first question out of your mouth was, do you think we can eat as much macaroni and cheese as we want? Which right. is a valid question. Right. And I'm doing nothing but cheese puns. Cheese whiz. <laughs> they call me the, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Right? For sure. Jesus crust. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm all day. I'm nothing but cheese puns. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm like, 
probably, but like we have to slow roll into it. Yeah. And then, of course, in typical Luke fashion, you're like, yeah, but what if, right? you know, hit me with all of it. Right, right, right. And I might do it like, listen, Protein. we really need this job. It's good for uh, heart health. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, we really need this job. Yeah. Like, let's just play it cool. Yeah, let's, right, 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 right. And you say just that, you're like, right, 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 right. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. And cool, 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 cool. we get there, it's, it's 8.15, we've been on the job for 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I'm checking noodles. Yeah. Meticulously, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's a bad one, right? Oh, there's a bad one. Yeah. Uh, that's a bad one. Yeah. And I hear a blood-curdling scream. I instantly know it involves you. Okay. Right. The cheese the the cheesinator. Yep. Yep. Got and it. I know it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I look over and they have these giant massive mixing bowls. That's I mean just massive, huge. right? Yeah. Right? And you are bathing in cheese. So I took a swan dive directly in, dude. Okay. <laughs> hands in my pockets just uh <laughs> bloop now yeah. while i'm furious because i see this across the across the factory <laughs> yeah right? i just i literally see cheese dripping down off your earlobe yeah i'm right? backstroking but even though i'm mad a part of me is super happy because i don't i couldn't remember the last time i'd seen you smile like that yeah because you were just so happy right? yeah 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 it's a good friend. Yeah. And then the boss walks on the floor. And of we're not talking about the boss. We're talking about Ted Kraft himself. Teddy Cra Theodore Kraft just walks <laughs> in, dude. Yeah, like the originator of this shit. Theodore J. Kraft. Yes. Walks in and sees yes. me doing a freestyle he, swim he did, in the cheese vault. He did a pop up visit. Nobody knew it, it was it was going down. Okay. Okay. And he says, you two. Yeah. You ready? One, two, three. Wait, move these. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Why do we do this every time? There it is. That's it. Okay. That's the thumbnail. All right. I really enjoyed that job at the factory, dude. Yeah, no, that was... That was uh... The best part of it, too, was uh, I don't after— get, I don't want to get cheesy or anything, but that was, like, the best job I've ever had. Um, I will say that I admire that even though we got fired, you still asked to shake Theodore J. Kraft's hand on the <laughs> way out. Autograph, You're like, bro. I'm a fan, dude. I need you to autograph this noodle that I stole three weeks ago. You're like, I got, this, I got this vintage 1996 Kraft box. <laughs> yeah, Will you sign dude. it? Yeah. You just pull it out of your back pocket. <laughs> You know what I mean? SpongeBob's. We've been SpongeBob's only. And I'm like, yeah. where, where the hell has that been, dude? Yeah. We've been sharing Billy's crickets for the last two nights, <laughs> yeah, and you were sitting on a fucking box of mac and cheese, dude. <laughs> the hell is going on here? You know? Oh shit! I think we uh, needed to throw the uh, thumbnail in there, get us back in the uh, mind frame. You know what I mean? And by the time you take that other swig, who knows what's gonna happen? Yeah, dude, I might fucking spin out like old. Uh, God bless it. Uh, uh, Yosemite Sam and this bitch and start firing six shooters around. We'll, we'll see. Mm. Mm. So what's going on? What you want to talk about? <sighs> um, Dude, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I can feel my eyeballs vibrating in my head right now. Yeah, your eyeballs are sweating. A, this was such a bad idea, yeah, dude. Yeah, your eyeballs are sweating. This is such a bad idea, bro. I know. Bro, I feel like, honestly, dog, I feel like I've been under VR. I've been in a VR match mm -hmm. of Population 1 for about six hours. I've, I'm literally, I'm having fucking motion sickness right now, bro. I can't believe you would give me that, dude. <laughs> what did you put in there? Okay, listen. In my defense, you said, do you have any Red Bulls? I said, we got Twitch. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's literally called Fast yeah. Twitch. Okay, that's and fine you're like, and you're everything. like, it has caffeine, doesn't it? And I said, yep. Yeah, bro, I didn't know it had fucking PCP in it, bro. I'm about to eat somebody's face off. Is this bath salts? What is going on right now? Dude, what did I just, what did I just see in the, uh, I just saw in the news. 
God, what was it? There was there was a food restaurant that just got busted, and they were like spr- sprinkling cocaine in the food to make it addictive, to make people come back and keep eating. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's actually a great business model, to be honest with you. That's I mean, you want to talk about repeat business? Yeah. Man. God bless. I feel like that's what you did to me. Fast twitch. I'm addicted to fast twitch. Yeah, now. I'm gonna see you pop in the office every day. Now. Every day I'm gonna be in there. And then on Sundays you're gonna be like, hey, yeah. uh, I left something when we recorded. Can, can my I, elbows? Can I can I borrow your card? Yeah, I just. Come on. You want to hear what's sick? Yeah. Bill or wieners. Sorry, I had to squeeze it in. You know I had to squeeze episodes. a wiener in. I thought I thought episode forty one was gonna be. No. I can't wait for the mon- the wiener montage oh, where I say it in every episode. Yeah, I know. That's episode 100. I can't <laughs> wait for that reel. 100 wieners. Yep. The wiener reel. Yeah. Um, we had nine cases of those on Monday. We have two cases left. Yeah, dude. No wonder you guys are... I mean, you guys are operating at weapons-grade efficiency in here, bro. Like... Mm-hmm. You and know we, what I mean? There's not a single doctor left in the state of Florida, bro. And you know they're what, all it, under your guys's uh, jurisdiction right now. You know the messed up part that I just realized? I just interviewed a girl, and I was like, "Listen, like you don't got to take my word for it." I said, "But work got done two hours ago." Yeah. Like quitting time was two hours ago. You see, you see that floor? Yeah. Jam packed. Yeah. I didn't put two and two together. That it's just because everybody's jacked up on fast. Yeah, you should have asked her. You should have been like, "Do you twitch?" You know what I mean? You twitch. I was That's like, gonna be the new thing. I was like, Friday, we get out at one. Everybody's here until like four or five o'clock. Yeah. It's not because the job's so great. It's because everybody's twitched everybody's up. Everybody's twitched. Dude. Everybody's twitched out, dude. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I had a coworker drink one who uh, who doesn't drink caffeine like that. Yeah. And she sits all the way on the opposite side of the office, and I was over here with one of the new hires. I heard every word of her phone call. Yeah, you were so dialed in. No, she was that loud oh, she because was she was loud. twitched out. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, dude, this stuff's she called. She said, hi, how are you? Are you keeping your options open? <laughs> I said, oh, my God. And then I hear her say, I can't believe I misspelled school. Yeah. School. School. <laughs> I said, oh, my God. You know what those is- words when you say them over and over again and it loses their meaning? <laughs> school. And then she hung up the phone. She said, oh, my God, what's in that? Yeah, bro. This, said, it's called life. Glacier Freeze. This stuff tastes like brain freeze, bro. God, Stop drinking what? it. Huh? <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. Oh, boy. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, to- I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Skill. <laughs> School. <laughs> oh, uh, man, shit. dude, Wanda just sent me a thing, a picture of a freaking ant. Pull this up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ant, can we pull this up? Uh, bridge rescue in Louisville. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> That's one of my biggest fears, dude. I'll take a, I'll take a, we'll take a screenshot. We'll put it up for everybody to see. They say they rescued him. No. Fucking Avengers came out, dude. And Captain America swung down there and rescued the driver, dude. Dang. That's wild. Crazy, dude. Dude, that's like, like a couple of my fears dangling off a bridge. Skyway. Yeah, dude, that thing's hanging. Look at that. That thing's hanging off of there, bro. Nope, nope, and Bro. that's and that's a Cisco truck. That's a food truck. What I what I want to know is how, how? What is that thing? Was it full of Twitch? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like my man was how, twitched out. How is it? Did he jump out and weld that thing to the bridge real quick before it fell off? Like, look at that dude. Like here's the thing. What's going through your head? Well, here's the thing, right? So there had to be um, a a first, right? Because you don't plan for something that's never happened before. Right. So, like, I'm just amazed at, like, okay, there's a semi that's dangling on. We're going to get these cords, dangle off the bridge, maneuver over, rescue the driver, wheel out. And then what do you do with the truck? Do you push it? Yeah, do you just... 
do you push it? What c- without yeah. I know there's tow trucks that handle like semis. What's the least amount of damage to the bridge pretty much cuz yeah. honestly, I don't want to be the guy pulling that truck back onto the bridge. And then the bridge collapses. And then what? Yeah. Now you're a yeah. now you have a monument. Well, you know why that's the worst possible scenario because my two biggest fears are dangling off a bridge and getting trapped. Quicksand. Get quicksand, right? Trapped in quicksand. No, getting trapped like under like like if this building caved in. Yeah. And you're on the first floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's And you're still yeah. live, but you know like it's always the same story. So like real stuff. It's always the same to... story. Yeah. It's you're trapped under a bunch of, of rubble and you could probably maneuver out, but your ankle is caught in between. Oh god, some, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you're obviously not dead. Yeah. But you're just in a real bad spot. Like I that's got like bad biggest... cankles too, dude. So oh, you're like, getting you're getting you jammed. You know what up. I mean? You're getting jammed. It wouldn't up. take much. I'll get stuck in a doorway sometimes. Dude, my, I'll get, you know what I mean? I'll be walking down the street and just get stuck in time and space. <laughs> Fucking, you know, I'm a, God bless. Yeah. But I, I, sometimes I, I feel like I might have to just cut my shoes off of me and just order a new pair of shoes. And that's what I tell Wanda when I get new boxes of shoes coming in. Uh-huh. It's my cankles. I had to cut my last pair off. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, but I've seen your bedroom and all the shoe boxes. And the perfect shoes. Yeah. Yeah, cankles. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? God. God bless. Right? Cheese whiz. God. That's going to be the name of this episode. Cheese whiz. Yeah, man. We're going to leave it in? We we should leave the thumbnail in on this one. I think you got to. People need context, dude. Yeah. People need context. Because I think about that all the time. I see people's thumbnails. Like, there's this finance dude he's like young i'm like dude you're like 13 but he's really like 30 yeah and he always has like the funniest faces on the thumbnail and i'm like how did you get there yeah or like that's see, a great like, picture how did you get there yeah you see like a guy he's got like cat ears a unicorn horn and he's shooting lasers yeah. into somebody's face yeah and the dude's like got two maracas and he's like oh yeah and of course i'm like that's a beautiful set of maracas i want to know where you got them because <laughs> right. i've been looking right I've been looking. I'm I've been a, in I'm the in, market. I'm in the market for some maracas. Yeah, and then of course the, the mar- next the market. Re- <laughs> you still got it. The next reasonable, you know, thought process is how do I obtain a unicorn horn? Yeah, you know what I mean. Laser eyes are cool. I wouldn't mind that. I've always been a fan of cyclops. Mm-hmm. There's that. Cyclopses. Let's talk. Let's get into that. Giants? Yeah, let's get into real Cyclops. Okay. Like a real deal Cyclops. You know what's crazy? Here, let's talk about this, dude. So, every... So, let's... Dragons, right? Yeah. So, every single, like, civilization... Yep. Ever... Documented. Documented dragons? Yep. Before there was, like, the Goog... Where you can just goog a picture of a dragon and yeah. it pops up. Like nobody like we're talking about cave drawings mm-hmm. of dragons. All over the world. All over the world. Mm-hmm. What is that? Dragons were a thing. Dragons were real. Had to be. Why haven't we found any bones? Dragon bones. That's what I want to know because Okay, but here's the okay. And and I get that. I get that. Yeah. What I will say is you know we've only researched and like discovered some minute amount the of ocean, the ocean the ocean god i knew you always go wet with it got to you always go ocean. Got to. i've been an atlantis fan as long as i can remember though yeah the lost city the lost city gone but not forgotten you know what i mean but so milo hatch do you you remember the the cartoon the movie atlantis yeah why am I not? Why am I drawing his a name? Blank? The the name the main character's yeah. name was Milo Hatch. Sorry. No, you're good. You're so good with that, dude. Yeah. You're really really good. Yeah, you know. Like if I'm on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and they are referencing, yeah, well, any sort of movie character name. Yeah. What was Mickey Mouse's middle cousin's middle name? Yeah. Like I'm using my lifeline. Yeah. Artie. They're like, oh, oh, you don't want to take a guess? I'm using my lifeline. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Artie. 
and they're His like, cousin's this name is, was this is the five dollar question. Are you sure you don't want to save it? And I said, I want my lifeline. <laughs> yeah. Miguel Artie Mouse. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the fact that there are there is documentation. Yeah. And we're not talking like, oh, it's like if you were in America, like, oh, people in Florida had drawings and people in Georgia had drawings. We're talking about complete opposite sides of the world. Right. And so they depict them, and they all look very similar. Yeah. It can't be mistaken. And they all breathe fire, which is super awesome. I mean, it could be, like, deep in the ice of Antarctica. It could. It could, could be. They could be in the oceans. Yeah. The oceans swallowed up an entire city. Yeah, they get... Yeah, the oceans, I mean, the ocean life would definitely or, gobble up a... Okay, or, where are we on? What are we doing? Or what if it's all, it's kind of like a, a phoenix-type story? You know what I mean? Yeah. Ashes. What if they just die and just poof, ashes? Yeah, because we don't know the anatomy of a dragon. No. We just know Nobody they bring knows. fires. Nobody knows. They could, t- you know, when they die, they could turn into like a... Whatever, like a keyboard or Who's something. Who's the or... Neil deGrasse Tyson of the dragon world? I guarantee he's been on the J- Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, right? we need that. We need Whoever it. that dude is, episode 87. And let's get him on. Yep. All right. Make that happen. Let's get the dragon whisper on. Go ahead and... Uh... I got questions, dude. I got yeah. questions about dragons. Yeah. I need to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if they were like really small? And just and people are just misinterpreting the drawings. They were just like really flying, like close, like low. What if they were like those, uh, what, those lizards in Labelle? Is it Labelle? The Labelle Raptors, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Them things are wild, Though, bro. That's that's a I descendant mean, of about, a dragon, if if anything. Talk about, dude. Just just run. You'll see them running around in packs, dude. I saw ten Labelle dragons. Yeah. Labelle Raptors. Yeah. I saw them take down a a fucking. Like a mid-sized dog one time, bro. They had him cornered yeah. behind a 7-Eleven, bro. And it looked like a scene from, I don't even know, dude, Warriors or something. They were fucking going in on him. It, the crazy part about it is when you told me about those lizards in LaBelle, I, obviously, my initial reaction was like, okay, these are just some normal Florida-sized lizards. No, dude. I know, and then you took pictures. Yeah, dude, it was like dwarfing a fucking Volkswagen, bro. What are you like, talking about? The picture you sent me, the dude was munching on a footlong from Subway. Yeah, bro. So what the hell is going on yeah. here? This yeah. is a real thing. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, LaBelle, yeah. Florida's, dude, we got some crazy... I wouldn't be surprised that if, like, the first dragon ever came back, if he was just, like, popped out of fucking Hollywood, Florida or something, dude. Like, I, I tell you what, if... I was uh, not naked and afraid, but what's the uh, bear, gr- <laughs> bear grills? I'm per- bear grills, I'm, where they just drop them in the middle of nowhere. Anytime I'm naked, I'm afraid. <laughs> so <laughs> that goes without being said. Um, where they drop them in the middle of like whatever, and he's just got to like thug it out. Yeah, Florida would be the scariest place to have that happen. Yeah, I think so. Bro, they dropped him in the Everglades, dude. Yeah. They dropped him in the Everglades. There's nothing. What, what are you doing? Did, did they? Yes. Oh, God, he bro. Had to, he, had to, he had to unalive a turtle and eat them. Oh, yeah, dude. You get them swamp puppies out there. You got to, you know what I mean? Them fucking, them. Yeah, bro. Have you seen the YouTube uh, dude? He goes out in the Everglades at night and, like, yeah. kicks gators yeah, and stuff. Yeah, he's like, oh, look at this. He's like, look at this fella. Oh, look at this fella. You don't look too happy. He's, What's wrong with you, bub? He's poisonous. Boink. Mm-hmm. Uh, boop on the nose for you. Bro, that dude is. Yeah, he's a beast. How? He's a beast. It's hard to explain to people from other states, like, how crazy Florida is, bro. Really? I mean, dude, what was winter this year? Is it winter over? There is no winter. Winter is not coming. <laughs> no. Winter's not coming. It skips us. Okay. Because there was like a, a two days where it was cold, yeah. and that was it. Yep. All right, broski. You out of here? Thanks, Love bro. You, bro. Love you. Yeah. Congratulations, dog. Hey. Thank you, guys. Congrats on the 60 days. That's a big deal. Homie. Hell yeah, Proud man. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hey. 
Not very many people make it to 90. Uh-huh. Shout out Andy Babs. <laughs> All right. Hi, homie. Love you, bro. Um, Dragon nuts. Bro, the mosquitoes alone. Yeah. Kill you. Yeah, pterodactyls. Bro, they they're yeah. They not only that they carry all that wild shit. I was when I was in prison up uh up north, dog. They I mean them mosquitoes, dog. They're walking around with shanks, bro. Uh. They got their own DC numbers. Nah. Yeah, walking around with name tags and everything. Dang. Like I'm just trying to get the chow. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's yeah. like, yeah, but get out of my way. Dang. Because it's bis it's biz and grizz for me. Uh. Okay. <laughs> It's Biz and Grizz Day. Dang. Yeah, you get shanked up by a mosquito just sitting in a canteen line, bro. It's like your day was going so well, and then boom. Guess what? Sink, sink, sink. Damn. Yeah, so that's, that's that. Yeah, that Florida life is no joke. Yep. It's no joke, dude. Damn, dude. I know. So that's that. I know. What are we going to do? I have no idea. What are we doing? I couldn't tell you. Episode 41. I know. I, we I got. We have to do a new thumbnail, a new uh, background. We do a different oh, one yeah, every yeah. ten episodes. Yeah, yeah. What uh, what color are we using? Man, eh. I don't know. I just kind of. You know what I do? I just kind of like close my eyes and pick, <laughs> pick on the thing. <laughs> yeah. Is it one of those cool palettes? It, it well, it is. But then they have predetermined like things. I don't know, dude. My I'm so. Geeked. Zooted right now yeah, no. on this stuff. I know. I can't that. believe you did this to me, bro. <laughs> I'm so upset with you I right now. I didn't do anything. I'm so upset with you right you now. You asked bro. for it. Bro, I'm not going to sleep for the next 17 years, bro. <laughs> like, I'm going to be awake for you, eternity. You're going to crash Monday morning about 6.30 a.m. <laughs> At work. On your way. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah. It's been uh, It's been real. Good Lord. Hey, you know what's crazy, dude? What? So I was doing a job for someone today, and they were like, uh, I was knocking on the door, and they were like, oh, sorry, I was playing uh, Rocket League, right? And I was like, oh, f fuck yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I get it. Like, <laughs> trust me. I was like, I've been, I've been doing a lot of Population 1 on the VR, and she's like, well, I just had, uh, I just had an interview at a plumbing place, and the way they train their people is through VR. Yeah, bro. It's a VR training course on how to plumb stuff, Damn. on how to do pipes. Well, you pipe just sent me the stuff. video of uh, Wesley. He was in the kitchen. Yeah, VR. bro. It's And that's, I'm thinking, like, that is where we're going, bro. Oh, my God, dude. I didn't even tell you, bro. I downloaded Audible. Yeah. Not a sponsor, but. Soon to be. Maybe soon. Shout out Audible. We're yep. going to have Audible on the podcast. Episode 99. So. I've been audio booking, dog. No. <laughs> Dude, I'm because I'm fucking yeah. old, obviously, now. And that's what old people do. Yeah. Right? Put down the walk a flock of flame, pick oh up. Oh my audio god, book. bro. Dude, I'll be in my in my work van, like just listening to my audio book and some kid'll pull up on me listening to whatever the kids are listening to these days. It ain't good. Right? And I'm just like, fucking this hoodlum. You know mm. what I mean? Like I'm just I'm just, I'm in the middle of my J.R. Tolkien classic. You know what I mean? But you know what I've been listening to? What? Ready Player Two. The book, bro. Yeah, bro. Listen, I love Ready Player One. I know, the, and the book is fire, dog. Yeah. I, I, Ready Player One got me through a really hard prison bid. Mm. I, I read it probably six times. Dang. So when I saw it on there, I was like, yes. That's what initially I saw. I looked it up, and they were like, you can download it on Audible right now. So I did, bro. And it's, I'm, I mean, I'm like maybe 13 hours in. Is it good? It's really good, dude. Dude, I'm fired up. It's really up. good, bro. I'm fired up about that one. It's next level. Yeah. No, I love, uh, I wish I had time to read like you do when you're locked up. Yeah. Because you got none but time. Yeah, like I would get lost in in books. The oh. beach, the beach house is what did it for me. James Patterson, the beach house, dude. I read it. I got like three chapters in, which in a James Patterson book is three pages. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's and that's I was the like, whole book. I so was like, you... oh my god, like what? I yeah. forgot. Like I was in jail for a second, and that just really like opened the door, and I ended up reading like 
God knows how many James Patterson books until I went through them all, and then I had to switch authors. And oh, are you kidding me, dude? When that book cart used to come through, dog, I remember when that book cart came through and I saw a Twilight on it, uh. I was like a little schoolgirl, bro. No. Nah. I was like, yes! Oh, my God! Uh. Oh, oh, God, I just want it so bad. I want to be a vampire, right? And I just want to... I just want to live in this prison cell as a vampire for the rest of my life, dog. Team Edward, bro. Team Edward. Yeah. Let's go. Dang, dog. Let's go. Yeah, luckily where I was, um, you could have your people send you books. They could buy it and yeah. have it sent directly there. Yeah, they'll do that up the road. Yeah. Um, and luckily, I have an aunt who is obsessed with reading. Mm. Like, loves it. Mm. And so when I told her... She said, say less. Mm. I said, yeah, how do you even know what that means? She said, say less. Say, yeah. I said, but you don't yeah. even talk like that. What's understood doesn't need to be spoken. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. and, yeah. she, and she said, check the mail in two days. Bet that up. Mm. Bet that up, Flippa Styles. She said, bumper 1,000. Bum- <laughs> I said, oh, my God, auntie. <laughs> and, uh, no, she sent me, like, she would send me three James Patterson books. Yeah. Every two weeks. Mm. Until I went through them all. And then she started introducing me to other authors and like I just fell in love with with reading, but I just I don't have the time. You don't so have that's time. Not, yeah, Audible, bro. I'm telling you, dog. Yeah, man. I'll yeah. be out there where I don't even listen and to music anymore. Does uh, Matthew McConaughey narrate any books? Because if so, I'm there. His I'm voice it, is velvet. I'll f- dude. I will. I'll sleep. I'll go into a, an His ever, voice is everlasting slumber listening to Matthew McConaughey. Bro, how sweet! Not that it would be sweet to go back to jail, but. If I had to go back to jail and Matthew McConaughey was my bonky, I'm okay. Just tell me, just tell me a story. Yeah, just tell me stories. Dude. Tell me a story, Let's Matt. Let's talk. Let's talk, Matt. Yeah. I don't even want to talk. Just tell me a story. Just talk to me. Yeah. Okay. How'd you get here? Yeah. What's the meaning of life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. What How I mean? do you feel about uh, the, the uh, planetary alignment? Bro, that dude could literally read ingredients on the 1996 box of Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. I'm there. I'll come. (laughs) Everywhere. (laughs) What? Were we not too much? Or? That's pushing the line. That's what we do. Whatever. (laughs) It's a home group. It's a home group podcast. Bro, it's Look just... Look at that sweaty pit. Yeah. Good Lord have mercy, boy. This Twitch has got me sweating. Wow. Woo! Um, have you seen his... I'm going in. <laughs> we lost them, folks. <laughs> we lost them. We tried. We tried so hard. <laughs> have you seen his... When he got asked to give that speech at the college? Yes. That's, that's what I don't understand. Is Some people were just born with it, I guess. Because I could never. The way he articulates everything, it's insane, bro. I, I'm i fascinated with words, and I'm fascinated with the way people put them together. And it's next level, dude. It is. It's next level, the way that he says things. It is. And, and like, I want to know how his brain works to put... I, I uh, bought his last book, Green Lights. Yeah. And I was reading it, and it was so cool because I cannot do a Matthew McConaughey impression. Because if I could do a Matthew McConaughey impression, you would never hear my actual voice ever again. Right, right, right. I would right, just right. speak like him. People right. be like, "Bro, why are you I doing?" I think you do. You just like get real, like real quiet, and you just gotta have a little just, bit of a southern draw. Yeah, you just do a little bit of a southern draw. When I read his book, mm. I was able to read it in his voice, verbatim. Oh yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. You ever so like? Isn't that crazy? How you can like sing great. Oh, in, my in head? your head. Oh my! And then you try to like belt it out. And you're like, I saw, bro, in my head. Hello from the other side. You're like, no, that's not it. Still don't got it. In my head, yeah. dude. Yeah. I am top on charts. Yeah. I'm. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna record myself singing. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna have a record deal by the end of the day. Yeah. And then I record three seconds of it. You get in your car by yourself. Of course. You hit it one time. One time. (laughs) Yeah. And then I play it back. (laughs) Say, okay. I'm so sad. I'm trash. (laughs) I'm so sad. I uninstall the six apps I just downloaded (laughs) to synthesize my vocals. Okay. Nothing can save this. No. And I get pissed off at the next car that 
comes in my vicinity. Yeah. And it's all their fault. <laughs> yeah, of course. Because you ruined my musical they threw, career. Yeah, they threw you off. Yeah, man. And then you look at people like, like Bieber, right? Yeah. Not only can he sing, but you can play the guitar too. Cool, yeah. right? You know what I just saw a video of him doing? Karate. No. I wish it was karate. He was the fucking conductor of an orchestra, dude. The Biebs? The Biebs, dude. And he was going off. just, And then he was like... Nah. Bro, and it was magic. No. It was magic, dude. Nah. Yeah. I'm going to look it up. I'm a believer. Dude, how? Why? Like, bro, just one thing. Well, I mean, once you get to that point, it's like... Whatever, right? Well, I guess it's the, whatever, shouty. I guess though, like, cause you're an artist, right? Like, you can draw. Oh, me, yeah, yeah. you can draw really well. Yeah, and so, I mean, but can't. Is it the same for you? Like, if I gave you like clay. Yeah. Damn. Really? No, honestly. I know. I believe it. Like, you can work with different like I, mediums. Like, that's what it's called, right? Mediums. Like I. Let's say like I, I do I drew, I painted, whatever. I picked up a set of clippers, it came naturally mm. to cut hair. I picked up a tattoo gun, it came pretty naturally. Yeah. Right? Like different mediums, different yeah. 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 Dang. But like there's that that's I don't even know. I wouldn't say that singing and playing an instrument is in like the same category though. Yeah, but singing is like a gift. Yeah, but how many fucking people that can sing also just like, dude, Machine Gun Kelly? It was like, oh, I'm just gonna learn guitar. Yeah, and just like be yeah. his latest video, playing piano. It just yeah, you know. I think I think but if that's you're his, musically that's, intelligent. Yeah, and also these people are fucking rich, dude, and they don't have to have a full time job. You know what yeah. I got, and this is gonna go be contradictory to me. In my semicolon and not being so rigid. Okay. And needing to meet people where they are. I just right. saw a video of him. It, he's literally eating breakfast, okay, yeah. on the balcony of some penthouse in Madrid. Yeah. And he's like, I just gotta f fucking eat these cold eggs and <laughs> sitting on this fucking balcony in Madrid and gotta figure out how to make today a good fucking day. Oh, boo-hoo, bro. You, but like, that's what I said. Yeah. But that's what I said. Oh, I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude. Yeah, all your cold eggs. I can't even spell Madrid. <laughs> yeah, dude, Let I can't even go there. I can't even spell eggs, bro. <laughs> what are we talking about right now? <laughs> I don't even think I'm allowed in Madrid. Yeah, dude. I don't think Spain would allow us in. Yeah, bro. Like, dude, I have to, like, jump through hoops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To leave the county. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, but it's just, it's, uh, I guess, I mean, it's mental health, man. It's one of those things, but it's just like, fuck, dude, like you, what I would give for mm. any one of those talents, mm. right? But it's that thing, you know But what you I mean? got your own talents. You got a way with words. Uh, I'm you're good a in the kitchen. You're a writer. I'm good in the kitchen. Yeah, you can cook. Yeah. No. Let him cook. Uh, That's what the kids say. Right? Yeah. You hear the kids saying that these yeah. days? Yeah, they You know what else they say? What? Riz. Yeah, dude. Yeah. All Sticking out your yacht for the Rizzler. Oh, dude. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. That's what they say. You want to know how I know that? Because you got one. I got, yeah. I got a little Rizzler running around the house. Isn't, isn't Riz like game? I think so. Isn't that what it is? That was like a thing. It was like... Yeah. Yeah. Like that's Riz, yeah. right? Yeah. So the, I mean, it's it worked if, on me. If you ask me, yeah, yeah, you're wet. No, I was leaning in for a kiss. <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought it was sure. about to go down. Dude. For sure, you know what I for mean. Sure. It was gonna be a great segue to the to our OnlyFans. Yeah, you no, know no I mean? cap, no cap. Please, please stop. No cap. Please stop. That reminds me of like when my mom used to say, because you know it was big back in my day, was the bomb, boss, the bomb. Yeah. The bomb. Yeah. Yeah. And, and my mom just extra she Caucasian. She would say it, right? The bomb. Yeah. That's the bomb. Yeah. That's, oh, you got it going bossa nova. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mom, stop. Please. Oh, my God. Please stop. Yeah, man. But that's our job now. We got to pass that tradition on, right? So, like, yeah, of course I walk around the house <laughs> and say, <laughs> you know. 
I'm the Wizard of Oz <laughs> and stuff like that, right? Like, um, I'm Hemi Neutron, right? Like, <laughs> I'm him. You know what I mean? Oh, no cap. You're acting so mid right now, yeah, right? Bro, mid. I never got so mad. I was playing basketball with Jordan, and I was taking it easy on him. In the beginning, like, we just started. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I let him take a wide open shot, and he made it. And he tapped his chest, said, I'm him. <laughs> I said, huh? <laughs> What'd you just say? <laughs> Bro, I took that ball. I have never run so – my knee's still messed up, dude. <laughs> I ran full speed, and I reenacted – Michael Jordan Space Jam, that final dunk, dude. Yeah, dude. And I... Bro, that was Tomahawk dunk on Yeah, him. bro. I, bo I broke the backboard. It, yeah. it doesn't stay straight now. It, it, it goes back and forth. Yeah. Um, and you said, I'm him. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And if I'm, anybody's him in this house, it's me. <sighs> yeah. You know what I mean? And then you went and iced your knee. Yeah. And then I said, I got a super important business call. It's been <laughs> <Yeah>. fun playing. <laughs> and then I went inside and I... <laughs> I told you, <laughs> I, I closed the bedroom door and I just collapsed on the ground. Don't say anything. Don't say anything right now, okay? I had a, but it's fucking serious. I had a pillow to muffle my cries, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so he didn't hear. Yeah. And he knocked on the door. <laughs> and I said, I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. This is an important business call. I'm on the phone right now. <laughs> oh God, yeah, dude. Yeah, bro. Getting old sucks. Bro, I can taste blood right now. <laughs> Dude, I'm not kidding. I feel like I got pennies stuck in my throat, dog. <laughs> Bro. Honestly, dog, I feel like I feel like my eyeballs are playing contra right now, dude. Like fucking just blue, 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 blue. We might have to cheese whiz, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, boy. No more fast twitch for you. Ooh, or just a half portion. You know what I mean? Give yeah, me but that's a problem. You had a half and you were there. Flip, you know better than to give me something and tell me to do half of it, right? Touche. You know what I mean? And you're over here drinking Essentia while I'm ascending into Valhalla, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> no, dude. Golly, boy. I got goosebumps on my earlobes. Page, um, hey, Patreon merch. What? Merch. Right. Patreon, Fast Twitch. Thank you guys for all the continued support. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Anybody that wants behind the scenes, wants to watch us record live, yeah. you can join the Patreon links in the description. Uh, we also... <laughs> yeah. We also have merch. We got mer We do have merch. Burn the Ships merch. We're going to come out ships. with some more stuff, but Burn the Ships, get on it. It's a beautiful saying. It's great for... Every it's good for everything. You Your beard talking? felt so nice. Thank you. A second a ago, on. it's so full and it's great. Thank you. I think you should grow it back out again. Yeah. Yeah. Should I grow my beard back out again? Yeah. Get in the Minutes. comment section. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah. like it. Make friends in the comment section. It helps the algorithm out. Yeah. Um, like this video. Yeah. That's I mean, step one. <laughs> like this video, please. Please God, like this video. <laughs> please. Please. Hey, we've been doing good, though. Yeah. I've been proud of us. Yeah. Been doing good. We yeah. almost hit that 1K view per Yeah, video. we're really trying to get up to 1K. That's all I want. I just, I mean, that was my that's New a, Year's that's resolution. That's a huge milestone. I just want to get 1K a video. Yeah. 1K per vid. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the special kind mm. of K. I'm talking about 1,000. 1,000 views. Y'all know what to do. Well, uh, I think that's, uh, that's about it, homie. That's it. Listen, super proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you too, dog. We've been doing it. We've been getting through it. Life's been throwing some we've, wild shit our way. We've stayed pretty consistent, though. I know. With everything, not just with this podcast, but with life, dog. Well, you know, I literally thought we've been doing a lot worse than, than we are. We're coming up next, uh, basically six weeks away from our one-year anniversary for mm. the pod. We're going to have a, a spectacular. Yeah. I mean, one year spectacular. I'm going to eat 365 glizzies back to back. I'm going to break my record. Wash them down with, with fast twitch. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I will fucking just 
disintegrate into nothingness. You, you bro. will turn into the Oscar Mayer mobile. It's gonna look like Thanos just snapped his fingers, dude. I'll just f- <laughs> just a bunch of butterflies, dude. I'll get to three sixty four yeah. and a gallon of fast twitch, and it'll just be butterflies, dust in the wind. Dang. Yeah, but um, you know, we've gotten. Hopefully, when everything's said and done, we'll have about forty five episodes out mm. in a year. 52 weeks in a year. That's not bad. I feel like we missed a bunch of time, too. Well. Maybe we didn't. We have a couple lost episodes. Well, we recorded four episodes before we ever even put one yeah. out. And we had, but we had lives, too. Yeah. A bunch of lives, so. I know, we need to do that more often. Bro. <laughs> Tiff and I just went live on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Do we have a TikTok? We do. I've asked you this several yeah, times. Yeah, we got a TikTok. We need to start, when I tell you, a live in TikTok? Yeah, what is what is it? Is oh, it a- what is it? Okay. <laughs> Buckle up. Yeah? Is it fun? It is a mix between Ready Player One, Super Mario Brothers. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah. What was the uh w- the the machine that blows the air that you got to grab the cash? You know what I'm talking about? It like blows all the cash and like you yeah, got to try hurricane. to yeah the hurricane like, something like that. Yeah. Uh, supermarket sweepstakes where you push around a car and got to you know. Um, this is these are all my favorite things. I know, wrapped into a social media platform when you're live. We go live. Never went live on there before. Yeah. But we just hit ten thousand followers on there. Yeah. Bro, she's live. People are putting flower crowns on her head. What? People turned her into Yosemite Sam. What? We were getting, bro, it was just like points plus 40, plus 41, plus 42. We're just popping up. I, you know, I, I don't even know what it means, but I got the high score. Yeah. I was literally, I was sitting there like. <laughs> what, what were you doing? But I didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, there was so much going. Yeah. Bro, people throwing their heart on my head. Yeah. Uh, there, somebody. Shovel came out of nowhere in the middle of the screen. What starts, were they burying? That's what you think. I'm like, oh, they're digging my grave because I'm dead. Yeah. Because I'm now hallucinating all these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I drank and fucked yeah, three D- fast. DMT twitch. is releasing from my brain <laughs> yeah. because I'm dying. Yeah. And then, and then a little water. Sunflower. No. Sunflower. Yeah. Sunflower. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it was the craziest. It was the wildest shit I've ever experienced in my entire life. God bless. Yeah, no. Nah. We, yeah, we, we gotta, got one. I know. We got to start. We got to start. We, we got to get better. Yeah. That's what it is. Well, and that's what we're doing. I know. Progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. Be better than yesterday. That's the name of the game, homie. Episode 41 in the books. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. You might just slide off on it. Dude, I'm fucking...